Hi, in this tutorial I'll be looking at adding text and pictures to a blank publication. Once I've opened a blank publication, the first thing that I'll do is add the publication title. For this, I'll make use of the special properties of artistic text. I'll place it at the top of the page. Notice that dynamic guides appear when I hover over the page margins. Now, I just click and drag to set the font size. I can use the hint line if we need to set the point size more accurately. I'll set the text to approximately 90 point, and then I'll simply type my title. Text can be formatted at any time using the text context toolbar. If I triple click on the text, the entire paragraph is selected. I can now update the text properties such as the font style. As you can see, the text is now too big to fit on the page. I can resize it to fit by dragging on the resize handles. Notice that the text also changes shape when resized in this way. Finally, I'll update the text colour using the swatches tab. Next, I'll add a text frame. Once again, dynamic guides appear to help me line up the text frame to the existing text object and page margins. To help design the rest of the page, I can fill the frame with placeholder text. The quickest way to do this is either from the right-click menu or by pressing F5 when the frame is selected. To illustrate the difference between frame text and artistic text, I'll resize the frame. Notice that this time only the container changes size and not the text inside of it. I can also add columns to the frame by increasing the frames columns on the text context toolbar. The number of columns in the frame updates to match. To change the formatting, I need to select the text. I can do this by clicking four times in quick succession. Then, on the context toolbar, I can change the formatting as before. Now that the text is placed, it's time to add some pictures. If you know exactly what picture you want to add, you can use the Import Picture tool. However, it's often better to add an empty frame first. To place the frame, I just click and drag on the page. This places it on top of the text frame and the text is hidden beneath. We can easily fix this by updating the wrap settings. With the picture frame selected, I'll click on the Wrap Settings button on the Arrange toolbar. In the Wrap Settings dialog, I can now define the wrap around the picture frame. The text updates appropriately when I click OK. Next, I'll add a picture to the frame by clicking the Replace Picture button. The picture is cropped to fit the frame. Now I can use the pan button to reposition the picture, or I can increase the size of the frame if needed without distorting the picture inside. I'll repeat this process with a second frame. This time I'll rotate it slightly. Notice that the dynamic guides appear to help line up the two images. Finally, to complete the images, I'll add a line effect and a drop shadow. To save time, I can easily apply these settings to the other picture by using the Format Painter tool. With my formatted picture selected, I click the Format Painter tool on the standard toolbar. Then, I simply click the second picture. The formatting is updated. To complete the publication, I just need to update the text. I'll click once to select the text frame, and then quadruple click to select all of the existing text. Now I can just start typing my actual story text. There are many more things you can do with pictures and text. For more information, see the How To tab, the Help, and our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.